Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend and welcome to the construction zone. Unfortunately, for the next few days and the next few videos, you're going to be hearing a lot of background noise. They're doing some work in the garage and for some reason it is going up all of our floors. So bear with me, I'll try to do my best. I'm wearing a microphone and I am going to try to use a few features on my editing to see if it will help, but oh well. And today I asked the Lord, what should I do? Because I didn't know, and he said, try a mic. And uh, that's the title of today's chapter. It's actually, why not ask him first? Years ago, a very good friend of mine faced a major decision. She was offered a rental package in a very attractive downtown location that was within feet of her workplace. Utilities were included and their Brazilian hardwood floors, granite countertops, and ensuite laundry were enticing. However, there was one catch. The condo was much smaller than her spacious apartment and she would need to downsize. Was she ready to give up her cozy little nook that was close to excellent running paths, quaint shops and cafes? She had an extremely short time to make up her mind. And my friend isn't one to make instant decisions. And so she and I discussed her options. Throughout the day, she kept me posted. Yes, she had one day. I could see that she would be comfortable in the condo, but I also knew she loved her current apartment. She liked the idea of moving closer to work and the cultural center of our city but she worried about the increased traffic and noise of a more urban location. At one point in our discussion throughout the day, we both came to the sheepish realization that we had not invited God into our conversation, although we had both been praying on our own. God knew my friend much better than she knew herself, and so we prayed. And we felt the pleasure of God that we invited him in. My friend chose to rent the condo and was happy with that decision for many years. God delights when we come to him in our decision making. He knows what potential opportunities will challenge us in a good way and thus foster our spiritual growth. He also knows what potential opportunities would lead to frustration, heartache, and discontentment. We need to trust God and invite him into our decision-making processes. We need to ask him to show us the choice that would not only be good for us, but would be good for others around us. You will be amazed at how much God knows about the practical aspects of our everyday life. You might begin to think that he has a stake in your future and you'd be right. James 1 verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but I usually forget to ask God for his opinion on a decision that I need to make until I get to the place where I am so anxious that I am not sleeping and it becomes evident to everyone else around me that I've got a decision to make. As soon as I make that decision, they all heave a sigh of relief because I will not be verbally processing all over them. If anxiety starts to bubble up as you mull over whether or not you should do something or purchase something or talk to someone, that's usually a really good sign that 
you haven't yet consulted with the Lord about this and you really haven't given him the time and the space to speak into your situation. Sometimes it takes a while for us to set down our preconceived ideas so we can hear him clearly.